In the twilight of his life, Charles V, the Holy Roman Emperor, is captured in a small tondo portrait by an anonymous artist circa 1550. The artwork reveals Charles as a man who has seen the heights of glory and the depths of sorrow, as his full grey-white beard and the wrinkles around his eyes suggest. He wears a black cap, a fur-trimmed black gown and a white shirt with a pointed collar. The insignia of the Order of the Golden Fleece hang around his neck on a silk band, a reminder of his illustrious achievements and his loyalty to Emperor Charles V. The cap is very informal, the sort old men wore indoors against the cold, indicating a sense of detachment from the pomp and ceremony of his former position. By 1555, Charles had relinquished control of Spain and the Netherlands to his son Philip II, and had retired to a Hieronymite monastery in Just, Spain, where he died on the 21st of September, 1558. Although this painting has been linked to Vermeyen in the past, it is more likely that it was inspired by Titian's works from the late 1540s, when he was the most active as the emperor's portraitist. Titian's 1548 portrait of Charles V bears the closest resemblance to the Tondo portrait, both in the details of the costume and the depiction of the face in three-quarter view, with a full, rounded beard. Titian painted the Munich portrait in Augsburg along with several other portraits of the royal family, among them Charles's sister, Mary of Hungary. Another tondo, a portrait of King Edward VI, was purchased together with the present portrait of Charles. The painting of Edward has the same dimensions as Charles S. Tondo and is probably by the same hand. Together they may have formed part of a larger series of lesser quality copies after known portrait types. This masterpiece is not just an artistic expression, but a historical document that offers a glimpse into the final years of Charles V, a man who ruled over a vast empire but ended his days in solitude and seclusion. Every detail, from his informal cap to his fur-trimmed gown, reflects his state of mind and his legacy.